Last time we've made a real water pool in my basement. But who needs a water pool without a sauna? Let's correct this mistake and make a sauna right in my house, in the bathroom. There we're going to make a sauna. And now we need a place to sit here. Let's think about what we can do here. We need to sit here. And I've got an idea. I've decided to get scientific and use this wood to make a seat. But first let's measure it all. So we'll have a nice bench over there, in the end. I'm not a professional and that's going to be my first bench in my life. <laughs> oh my, I've managed to make a normal cut. I've got these corner joints to make the construction firm and reliable. You know, Anton, that looks cool. The bench base is ready. Next, we will attach a couple of wood boards and a sheet of plywood above, on the top. And we're making a line. Boom! Now let's cut it. There we go! Now let's fasten it. Now I can even jump on it. It is very firm and reliable. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought you were going to break it. It has been so much. The most important thing in sauna is the heating element. We are going to make it ourselves, using scotch tape and steel wire. We don't need anything else. We are going to make some holder hooks. First band is 90 degrees. There it is. The second angle is also 90 degrees. We've got something like this. There will be some scotch tape. Next you're gonna need a band like this. Boom. And there will be a hook over there, below. So little space here. It's okay for a sauna, Anton. The next step, attaching hooks to a wall. Like this. There goes the wire. Aha, uh -huh. it is very solid, we can hang anything. Scotch tape is a miracle. We have made the hooks, and now it is time to hang the steel wire, in which we are going to run electricity. Guys, this is usual 1mm steel wire. What else? It is soft, easy bending, and it is covered with some rust protection. That's going to be a start. The current will go in the circuit from here. Look at it, guys. It is so unruly. But when we let current inside, the wire is going to become straight. It will be affected by focal slow. To say it simply, it's going to become a kind of liquid. We need to remove the wire isolation, otherwise it's gonna burn and stink. We're gonna need some insulation tape to insulate it. What are you talking about, Anton? We don't need any insulation. This wire is gonna hit very hard, so we can't use it. We're going to be careful, that's it. And by the way, it's a neutral wire, there's zero volts. It will be dangerous only outside of this room. What? We have got a special 63 amperes automatic switcher for this sauna. We're going to connect the phase wire to it. Clenching, screwing. We've got a special outside wire line, not to burn the wires, because this thing consumes a lot of energy. Let's check if there is any voltage. One. Oh my gosh! Why you've done that, Anton? That wasn't really funny. I'm gonna need my sleepers. It has 224 volts. There's some voltage. We are ready for the experiment. Oh my, that's a very dangerous moment. It is risky to be outside. We're safe here. Really? I hope it's gonna be working well. It just can't be otherwise, I think. Let's turn it on for one second. A classical check. Turn it off. Seems to be working. Now I can use it. There's nothing wrong. Turn it on for 10 seconds now. Why nothing happened? Did you turn it on? Maybe it is heating now. Let's go and check. Stop, Alex. Maybe the current dropped in a second. Let's turn it on once again. There is no current. Nothing happened. Turn it off. But why on earth? It has worked the first time, but nothing then. Maybe something got burned? 
Maybe that switcher is a piece of scrap, but I'm afraid to touch the wire. Maybe it's under voltage. Let's take this risk and touch it. Is it hot? I don't want to be electrocuted. And then stop. Okay. It is cold as ice. Nothing has worked. I'm going to throw away that switcher. I think that current consumption is too big. It can't cope with it. This switcher is for 63 amperes, but it turns off at once. That is a BS, guys. You should have bought the Polish one. We have thrown away the switcher, and look what we've got. Be careful, don't let the neutral burn. Yeah, it can actually happen. Ouch, I have closed my eyes. What happened? Was it a spark? Did you really do that, Alex? Yeah, I haven't seen that moment, but it became darker, didn't it? Let's do it once again. That's funny, it welds to the... That is good, we will tear it off later. That is bad, Alex. Do it. Oh my, the voltage is so big, it starts moving. That's okay, the insulation burns out. Yeah, yeah, film it, come on, let's see that. Turn it on, turn it on. There it goes, look at the smoke. Oh my gosh, it's so hot here. Anton, come in. Turn it off, come in, Anton. Just feel that, you can go in. It's off now. Come and close the door. Oh, what a smell! Look at this, it is flying! That is a dead coronavirus. Really? Look at this tiny coronavirus. Anton, look at it! We killed it! That looks like aerogel. What is that? That is aerogel, for real. But how did you make it? It's so much here. Can we breathe it? It beats me. Do you feel this terrible heat? It has been working just for two seconds. What is gonna happen if you let it burn for an hour? Well, let's get some fresh air inside. Open the windows. A technical break. Well, let's check out our underground water pool. We have been pumping water inside for 12 hours, whole night. Let's go and see what we've got. Hot. Is it? Hot. Cool. We couldn't fall asleep, we were worried about it. The water was gonna break through. I can feel hot, humid air. Is it warm inside? What? We've got this level of water that is more than previously. Is it hot? Yeah, we'll do. That is awesome. Let's go. Well, we have extended the wire and look at it hanging around. And now let's sign a turn on. There it goes, it's okay for now. It doesn't have a heat. It is moving. And getting red. Is it burning out? It heats so much. Oh my gosh. It is so hot here. No, it doesn't burn out. Anton, you may go and touch it. Touch what? Can you feel the heat? Oh my, come Anton. Oh my gosh, it is 70 degrees Celsius. It took just a few seconds. The system has stabilized. It is burning. Turn it off. The wire touched wood. I got it. That's it? It will protect the wood. The system works perfectly. That is what I'm meant to do. What do you say? What I can say, it's boring. Did you want some explosions? Yeah. A powerful one? Yes. Let's go. Let's put on sauna hats and get steaming. Come in, Anton. Sit in the middle. Turn it on, Sanya. We're going to check the temperature. Let's see how many seconds it will take. How do you feel? Can you feel it already? Yeah, but it doesn't glow. Did you like our crazy idea, guys? Oh yeah, it steams well. That is serious, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like barbecue. <laughs> this wire might be radioactive. Sanya, give us a dosimeter, please. Let's check it. It's okay, Anton. Yeah, it is 13. That is normal, Anton. That isn't a surprise. By the way, the voltage doesn't get worse. It is 110 volts now. Alex, the steaming is on. I'm sweating. Oh, really? I'm sweating as well. Let's find out how much does our invention consume. AC mode. Let's put it to a wire. We have got 33 amperes. Now let's multiply 33 and 210 volts of current. And we get 7 kilowatts of energy. But pay attention, it heats very fast. So if you use a weaker heater, that's gonna eat more energy. Because it is slower. Let me explain to you how do we heat the wire so fast and why it has so much of efficiency. The secret is, this wire emits infrared heat, so it heats objects themselves, not the air around. But it makes air very dry, so we need some water and that would be cool. We have made an oven like this. Can you feel that humidity raises? Yeah, and the temperature grows as well. 
There goes the steaming. We've turned it off, but it's still steaming, as you see. Like in a real sauna, you know? Just realize that, we have made a sauna out of improvised items. Actually, this works like a big oven. Look at me, Alex. Oh my, let me film that. Now I can see it better. It only looks like BS, but it works well. It's even too hot here, so we had to open the door. So now we've got a kind of beta version. If we carry on doing that, we could invent something more reliable and safe. And convenient. Why no one tries to make it? Come on, guys, look at it and get the idea. That is on the surface, but no one uses that. Why? There's a thermometer. It had 26 Celsius in the other room. Does it go up? Yeah, let's leave it here for some time. Yeah, okay. I'm putting it near me. No cheating, guys. I think it's 60 Celsius. And that is quite normal for a sauna. We should have about 120. I mean, 60% of humidity and 60 degrees Celsius. And that would be a perfect sauna, for nice steaming, the pores open and so on, just what we need. The most healthy sauna. How much we've got? It is more than 60. It is over the limit. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. And the heat is all around, left, right, behind. Especially my back is getting hot. Yeah, yeah. Just feel my back. Oh my gosh, it's so wet. All around. Alright, let's go to the water pool. Are you ready? Sure thing, Alex. Let's go. We're going out. Oh my, it's so cold here. Let's turn it off. Yeah, look how we make it. It's gonna go out. That's it, it died already. Look here, what do you think is there? That is our basement water pool. Let's go down and see what we've got there. You're steaming, really? Isn't it cold? No, it's perfect, Alex. It is so much here. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Cool. Isn't it cold? It is perfect, bro. Just realize that. I can freely swim here at ease. I don't touch the bottom. We could have got even more water in the basement. But it is risky. The water could cross this border. The coolest thing is that we don't have any leakages, no water. This depth is enough to see beetles swimming below. And I'm really afraid of them, you know? <laughs> Let's go, Alex. Okay, I'm going in. Yeah, the temperature is just perfect. Cool. So cool. Alex, we have lost some of the last reply. The blue one. Oh, really? We have lost some of it. But why? It has stuck in the film. And the pressure has broken it, I guess. And some of it has fallen. I don't know why. A basement ghost? Something has happened at night. While we were sleeping. Hopefully there is a hidden camera. It has filmed everything. And you will see it fall. Oh my gosh, Sunny has brought so much of steam with him. This solo is something. I was heated in one sec. We have got a steaming room. Are you going to neutralize the fog with splashes? Oh my gosh. It has become less steamy. Really? Look at this beautiful fog above water. 405 base copy. So guys, you can make a Miami right in your basement. Miami! That is the first sign as water pool in the basement. Is it cold after sauna? After water pool, yeah. And Sunny is coming too. Let's launch our infrared sauna. The sauna is launched in this cool way. Oh my gosh! We feel enormous heat, even when the wire isn't ready yet. The biggest advantage of this sauna is that it heats in 5 minutes. Look at the wires getting red. The system with scotch tape and hooks is cool. There were no breakages and short circuits. Generally, it's safe. The only trouble was this spot, but we have repaired it with the rock. And that works. And now we're going to check how much that costed. We have been flooding our basement pool for 12 hours. Let's see how much gas we have spent for it. 
700,000, 695. We have spent 26 cubic meters of gas. We have spent 5 cubes of water for our water pool. Is it much or not? It's up to you to decide. Well, friends, the solar experiment has exceeded all expectations. We have got a very powerful sauna. It takes not a few minutes, but a few seconds to heat it. And the instant heat is enormous. We are not going to stop, guys. We are going to implement an absolutely new sauna technology and test it. We will need 10 microwaves to create a plasma sauna. And it's gonna heat the entire sauna. But this isn't all. We will also get some ozone and ultraviolet here in our sauna. That will make it even more healthier. Well, this sounds extremely dangerous, you know? <laughs> but we are pros, so we can do it. Guys, Sunny is having rest here below. And I've got an idea. Let's do it, whatever it is. Hurry up. Do you want to explode something? What is that? Wow! Just look at it, guys. Such a scary mask it is. I'm gonna prank him. Oh my gosh, he looks so weird. He's gonna poo his pants. It's a prank. That's gonna be hard. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Did he see you? No, Alex, he was frightened. I saw that. I saw someone was coming. You were frightened, dude, don't lie. <laughs> Guys, water pool is great, but how are we going to remove the water? What ideas you've got? We have decided to buy a used water pump. Now going to look at it. Hello, hi. Careful, I've got a... We're here for the water pump, let's go. What do you need it for? For pumping water out. Oh, it is powerful enough, you will make it easily. It can make a 10 meter jet. Why do you sell it? When I lived with my wife, we got many gardens and greenhouses. We had wells. Can we test it? Can we use it with no water? No, no. How powerful it is? How many kilowatts? I'm not sure. There must be a description. Household centrifugal electric pump. Price 50 rubles. Was made in 1972. We haven't used that so much for many years. It was just lying here. Alright, turn it on. Pumping well. Wow. That's enough. A cool pump. Old one. Soviet. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, pumping water isn't that easy. Just look at this powerful pump. Such sick hoses it has. Oh my. It has lots of adapters. There we go. It is heavy. We have to hang it somehow. Try to attach it to a wooden barrier. Now it is fixed well. Let's tie it. Let's turn it on. Yeah, do it. There we go. Dip it in water or move to make water going. More, deeper. Touch water. Yeah, yeah. Even more. Does it go? You see it yourself. There it goes. Now we can take it back. Oh no, that's not good. Well guys, that was really hard to launch this pump. We have hardly installed that. We had really bad time. And Sanya was electrocuted a couple of times. Just as usual. There are leaks, yes. Though this pump is very old, from 70s. We've got some water inside of it. I hope it's gonna evaporate. The old pump is still kicking. I'm going up. So much of condensation. Are there any leaks? No, there is nothing. Wow, this pump is powerful. The bath can cope with so much of water. Good one. It is so ancient. It is even older than Chernobyl. We have been pumping for three hours, and look what we've got here. Wow, there's almost nothing here. We have pumped everything out. We didn't have any troubles with leakages. So in general, my basement was dry. Subscribe and don't miss the video about plasma sauna from microwaves.